So I'll mild this forward. Got dog hair on my nose. Okay. Now it's all combed down right where this the stop is and take my shears straight up and down. I don't want to turn them in or out. I come straight up so that I start my visor line. Now, if I want to save eyebrows, I mean eyelashes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come from underneath. I'm going to hold my eyelashes down so that the eye is closed. And now I can trim that downward. And by opening that up, now I can come in, stay. And I'm not going to hit my eyelashes. And I can sweep that eyebrow back so that that eye kind of pops out and those eyelashes. By leaving the eyebrow, you can't see that she has any eyelashes there. And hers aren't real long yet, but if we left them, they would most definitely grow long. Now I can switch to my curves and I'll use my curve backwards to neaten that up. Open up that eye. Because you want to show off their expression as well. You don't want to have it hiding with hair. A lot of times if clients can't see their dog's eyes, the next time they come in and they're trimmed all the way back up to here. 